Mount Forest is the kind of place that wears its heart on its sleeve on every road into town. A free the children community, special friends to Osenatoy, Kenya. That's thanks to Donna McFarlane. She's devoted her retirement to fundraising for Free the Children, now called We Charity. Initially, we raised just over $10,000, but then it just kind of snowballed after that. I'm certain we raised over $100,000. I'm certain. $58,000 went to a clean water system and a classroom in Assinitoy, according to this news article back in 2014. That was the best, to see our, all of our fundraising, all of our efforts, how it was helping to transform lives for people in Kenya. What's puzzling is in 2010, a group called SVQF had already adopted a senatoy, pledging $250,000, also working with Free the Children. According to Free the Children's own document, the borehole cost $50,000. All but $12,000 had been fully paid for by SVQF. In that same year, 2013, 1,700 people hiked up Grouse Mountain in BC for the Whistler Water Climb, raising $110,000. Wondering how that money was used? The club posted on its website, a borehole in the remote community of Assinitoy. Same time frame, at the University of Toronto, students raised $3,000 for clean water in Assinitoy. Then we found this on the Governor General of Canada's website in 2015, a volunteer award for an Ontario woman who helped raise enough funds to provide the community of Assinitoy, Kenya, with clean water. We Charity responded in writing, saying additional funds are needed for things like pumps, water storage and piping, or can go to other projects. Village. Charlie Angus sits Everything on the Federal Ethics Committee, combined. which is looking into We Charity's ties to the Trudeau government. It appears that they're selling the same promise, the same project again and again and again. And I think that's highly problematic. Donna McFarland says wherever her money went, she wants to believe it was well spent. I don't think there's a charity anywhere that hasn't probably made errors along their way. And I couldn't, I couldn't say they, they did or they didn't, but I know that I have ultimate trust that our money was used wisely. Mark Kelly, CBC News, Mount Forest, Ontario.